Hey guys, today we're gonna test some internet speeds with uh, regular speeds of the devices individually. Then we're gonna bond them through a paid premium software called Speedify versus Windows owned and free provided bonding method of the networks. Right now, as you see, I have connected only my ethernet cable and let's see it here. Yep, well, up to one gigabit per second, the connection and everything else on my network adapters is disabled. Let's run a quick speed test. A speed test will be right here. Speed test. Let's see what my speeds are right now. Okay, go. Okay, the speed of this connection is not the greatest. It's just a little bit over 100. And let's see the upload of it. Uh, around almost 50, around 50, I would say. Safely assume so. And the second, we're going to test the speed of a Wi-Fi connection that I'm going to connect here in a minute. And it, here it goes. We close this one. Let me disable this one, as you see. Uh, let me enable my Wi-Fi right here. Wi-Fi enabled. Let me turn it on. And uh, I'm going to connect to one of my that's already connected, one of my Wi-Fi connections. Okay, and uh, minimize this one. Open the browser and test speed again. As we see, it's going almost towards 100. Okay, 90, 80. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, that's 72, 53. Okay, close this one. Let's test the next connection. Let's go here. Let's go to adapter options. And disable that one too. Now we're going to enable Easy Tether with one of my phones and connect Easy Tether. Easy Tether. Connect the phone to it. And says Easy Tether connected. Right now we have a connection with Easy Tether only. Okay, so now let's refresh this page and hit test again. Okay, that's not a good speed. Upload is going a little bit crazy, which is over 50. Okay, 36 by 54. Let's close this one. And the next one, let's close Easy Tether. And disconnect the phone just so we don't interfere with it. Let's open PDA. Okay. PDA right here. And uh, let's close the other one. Okay, now it's open. Let's open PDA on the other phone. Okay, it's a Samsung. Click here to connect. And it's connected. But right now we have a connection. Okay, let's go to speed test again. Okay, so as we saw, this one, this last one was PDA net. Let's close this one up. And uh, let's bring this here. Right now, we need to activate all the connections. Easy tether. And uh, let's connect the phone to it. Okay, with easy tether here, enable. Okay, connect USB, allow, device attached, click here to connect, PDA is connected, uh, let's enable Ethernet, okay, it should connect in a moment, okay, connected, let's enable Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi has been enabled, and connected it says no internet but it has internet that's how it just does it sometimes uh let's connect speed let's 
enable Speedify adapter now after I installed Speedify. Right here. And we open the software itself. And it's detecting our connections right now. Okay. Ready to start streaming. And as you see, one, two, three, four connections are made right now. Let's uh, put this one on the side. And let's run a speed test really quick. As it says, you are ready for streaming at this point. Speed test. Comcast, I don't know what that is, but that's their server. Not very happy with the speed so far. When we know that my Ethernet alone is over 100. My Ethernet is over 100. Okay. Upload speeds are not bad, but we know one of my connections has around over 50 on upload speeds. So that's lower. Okay, maybe this one a little bit better. Well, let's close it and uh, redo it just to see. Here is e Easy Tether, which is connected already. And let's test it again. Okay, 88 by 58. I will get on this next one. And now let's try it again a third time. Just to make sure that we're being fair to speed, uh, Speedify. Let's retest it again. All the connections are still active. Let's refresh and try it again. Now it's struggling to find a server, which I don't understand why would that be the case. Is this is a premium paid software that I actually paid for it. Okay. We minimize that and let's run it again. So 83 by 60 seems to be the only sweet spot Speedify has to offer. Now let's do another test with for bonding these same connections for free. And how we do that, I'm going to show you just in a moment. Okay, now let's bond these uh, three active connections. One, two, three. Bridge connections. Let's reconnect these at tether. Because sometimes, somehow it uh, keeps dropping it. Now it's connected. Wait for the bridge to fully connect. As you see, we are reaching the same speeds as with a paid software. And we're just doing bridge. That's free as a Microsoft uh, option. Let's wait for the upload to finish. <coughs> we have these connections here. Okay. We have 102 by 48, which is not bad at all. Let me run it again. As you see, it's doing the same exact thing. Let's try to run it again, just to be fair with it. And we are still on bridged, only bridged from uh, Microsoft, which is free. No paid software included right here. And let's run it for a third time. It takes its sweet little time. 59 ping. And it seems to me that it's it does exactly the same as the paid software. Not to diminish their service, because they, they do a great job uh, for 
less than $100 a year subscription, Speedify. But in my opinion, you can reach the same exact thing with bridged connections. And uh, what I see in both, whether bridged connections or Speedify, what they really do is only pick up on the highest uh, con speed connection that you have. It just shows Ethernet right now because we have the bridge, network bridge. That's what it's running at. And in my opinion, it depends on you if you want to pay extras or not. But if I remove this bridge right now again, let me just delete it. My highest uh, speed here is going to be my Ethernet. Let me take uh, Easy Tether out. Let me take uh, PDNet out. And let me just disable all of them. Wait for it to reconnect to Ethernet again. Okay, Ethernet connected. Speedify disabled, Wi Fi disabled, Ethernet 3. This is Ethernet 3, that's my main connection. Let me disable this one here. Uh, PDNet disabled. Okay, so now we are running only on my Ethernet cable that there is no bridges and no softwares included right now now let's run the speed finding that let's go and see where we go and yes as you see both method methods we're only picking on the highest uh, speed connection and taking that as a speed measure not really bonding four devices did not give me 500 megabit per second speed or 200 megabit per second uh, upload it did not do any of that so if you're expecting to put four connections and get all four bonded together supposed to get a 500 megabit or a gigabit uh, speed, it will not work. Just to let you know, this uh, video has not been sponsored by Speedify or Microsoft or PDNet or any of these companies that I used here. I just use them to show you that bonding speeds, whether it be with a paid software or freely by Microsoft, is not going to give you those mega super speeds. It will only pick on the highest speed, which is the top speed, and that's all. And another thing what happen with, happens with me, at least in my uh, experience with Speedify, I'm not going to connect it. I'm going to disconnect it right here. What happens with uh, Speedify so far, if you're stre live streaming uh, on OBS at least, if one of your connections drops for some reason, guaranteed your uh, stream will drop. It will pick up right away, but it will drop enough to make that disconnection in your stream. So what I suggest in this case, I suggest you go on with whatever the highest speed connection you have and connect that one only. Don't bother with bonding. Don't bother with... A lot of software, dumb with all that stuff, just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. As per me, that's all I had to say for today. I hope you learned something, and I hope you like this video. We'll see you next time. Bye!